Hi, I'm Ryan Nutter with Cornerstone Senior Advisors, and each day we walk people through the process of Medicare, helping you find the right coverage to fit your needs at the right price. And today I'm going to be discussing with you the Medicare Supplement Plan F. For years and years, this Medicare Supplement Plan F has been the most popular Medicare supplement out there. Bar none, across the U.S., it is by far the most popular Medicare Supplement Plan. That's not the case anymore with any new Medicare beneficiaries. So before I go into what the Plan F is and how it works with Medicare, I just want you to know the Plan F is only available to any Medicare beneficiaries who were eligible for Medicare prior to January 1 of 2020. If you were eligible for, for Medicare prior to January 1 of 2020, then you can keep your Plan F, you can sign up for a Plan F, you can go from one company's Plan F to another company's Plan F. It is always an option, but it's no longer an option for any new Medicare beneficiaries. They did away with it. So that's important to understand, is the Plan F is only available to those on Medicare or eligible for Medicare prior to January 1 of 2020. Now when we talk about a Plan F and and why it's been the most popular plan, Medicare supplement plan, it's because it's been the most comprehensive Medicare supplement plan. And when you combine a plan F with Medicare, it's really dynamite coverage. So let me show you, this over here is Medicare. So when we talk about Medicare, we're talking about two parts, Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. This is original Medicare and this makes up original Medicare, parts A and B. This is what Medicare covers. Now if you don't have any supplemental insurance and you just have original Medicare, this is your out-of-pocket exposure. This is what you're susceptible to have to pay, what you're liable to have to pay. This is why you get a Medicare supplement plan is to help you with these costs. So these are the gaps of Medicare. So when you hear of, of, of Medigap plans, we call them Medigap plans or Medicare supplement plans to fill the gaps of Medicare and take care of these costs. So what is a plan F and how does it work with Medicare? So day one, under Medicare, day one you're admitted to a hospital, this is your Part A deductible. So day one you're admitted to a hospital, you have to pay $1,408. And it'll cover you for up to 60 days. The catch with that deductible is it's not annual. So you're admitted to a hospital, you pay that $1,408, you're there five days, you go home. Two months later, you're back in the hospital, you got to pay this deductible again. So it could really ding you a few times in a year if it's a rough year health-wise for you. If you're in the hospital for over 60 days, well now you got a per day copay of $352. And if you're in the hospital for over 90 days, that per day copay doubles to $704 per day. When you combine a Plan F with Medicare, day one you're admitted to a hospital, you pay zero. This Plan F is going to pick up this deductible for you every time. So you don't ever have to worry about paying that deductible. If you're in the, in the hospital for over 60 days, that per day copay, the Plan F pays that for you. If you're in there for over 90 days, that per day copay, the F pays it for you. So if you combine a Plan F with Medicare, and you're admitted to a hospital, you're just going to receive a statement of benefits paid. It's dynamite coverage. You can use you can use any hospital in the United States. As long as that hospital takes Medicare, they will take this Plan F and you have excellent, excellent coverage. Now outside of the hospital, that's under Part B. So this is going to include everything with your primary care doctor, specialists, emergency rooms, outpatient surgery, so on and so forth. And Part B has a deductible as well of $198. Now I'm going to mention that these costs that we're looking at, these are 2020 prices. The government has been increasing these prices over the years. This is where we're at for 2020, so these are probably going to go up over time. Regardless of how much these are going up, the Plan F is still going to work the same way. Now, so back to this deductible. Anything outside the hospital, in a year you pay the first $198. This is different from your Part A deductible because it's annual. So this deductible you just pay one time a year. But that Plan F, it pays it for you. Now, once that deductible has been paid, now Medicare is going to kick in. They're going to start paying 80% and you have to pay the remaining 20%. So if you hear uh, people say that you need to get a Medicare supplement plan or a Medigap plan to cover the 20%, this is what they're talking about. And so, and so what that means is 
Once this deductible has been paid, anytime you go to a primary care doctor, you're paying 20%. Anytime you go to a specialist, you're paying 20%. Anytime you go to an emergency room, you're paying 20%. And it can get more extensive than that. When you uh, need an outpatient surgery, you go in for cataract surgery, or you go in and you get your knee scoped and you go home the same day, you're paying 20% of that procedure. Even cancer, say you end up with cancer, every time you go in for chemo or radiation, you're responsible for 20% coinsurance every time. If you combine a Plan F with Medicare, they are gonna pay that 20% for you every time. This is why the Plan F is so popular. All you're gonna receive is a statement of benefits paid. It's dynamite coverage. You can go to any healthcare facility anywhere in the US and you're covered. If that facility takes Medicare, they will take this plan F and you have excellent coverage. This is something we can work with you on is looking at, okay, what companies in your area offer this plan F and what premium are they charging? Something that's really important to understand when you're shopping around for these Medicare supplement plans is the government designed them. And why that's important to understand is all these insurance companies that offer them have to abide by the government's rules. They have to pay the way the government designed that plan F to pay. They have to cover how the government designed that plan F to cover. And so what that means is you can look at all of the companies in your area that offer this plan F and figure out how much premium they're charging when you decide which company you go, wanna go with. Because all of these companies are gonna perform the same way but they're all gonna charge a different premium. That's something we can help you with. We can walk you through the different companies that offer that plan and discuss how much premium each of them charge to help you make an informed decision with which company you wanna go with. If you'll just call us, call us today, 316-260-3331, and we would be more than happy to walk you through this process.